Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. We have been discussing NEET PG based multiple choice questions from community medicine over the past few days. Today I have come up with another MCQ from a very important topic. So without wasting much time, let's quickly get started with the discussion. So the question is an a &M receives two open vaccine vials. One is MR vaccine vial and the other one is pentavalent vaccine vial. Which of the two can be used for the next immunization round? And the options are discard pentavalent and use MR, discard MR and use pentavalent, discard both, use both. Now, since in the question ANM receives two open vaccine vials, of which one is MR and the other one is pentavalent, and the examiner is asking you which of the two can be used for the next immunization round. It means that the question is all about open vial policy. So to answer this question, you must know about open vial policy. So let's start discussing what is open vial policy. Now open vial policy allows reuse of partially used multidose vials of applicable vaccines under universal immunization program in subsequent sessions, whether fixed session or outreach, up to four weeks, that is 28 days, subject to meeting certain conditions. So open vial policy allows the reuse of partially used multidose vials in further sessions, up to four weeks. So this was first introduced in our country in the year 2013, and the guidelines were further revised in the year 2015, in September 2015. So currently we have the revised guidelines of open vial policy 2015. And the main goal of open vial policy is to reduce the vaccine wastage. Alright, to reduce vaccine wastage and also to reduce the government health care cost in immunization. Now, if you still didn't get the concept of open vial policy, imagine that you have just completed an immunization session and you find that vaccines are still left in open multidose vials. Now the question arises whether to use them in the subsequent sessions or to discard them. This question is answered by open vial policy. At the end of every immunization session, all the open vials should be returned to the cold chain point and at the level of cold chain point they are segregated into reusable and non-reusable vaccine vials and all these reusable vaccine vials can be used in the subsequent sessions for up to 28 days provided certain conditions are met. We will be discussing these conditions in the next slide. Now these non-reusable vaccines should be discarded. All right. They should be discarded at the end of the session or within 6 hours of opening the vial, whichever is earlier, either at the end of the session or within 6 hours of opening the vial. Now, where they should be discarded? According to biomedical waste management guidelines, they should be discarded in the blue cardboard box. Now, why blue cardboard box? Because all the glasswares, whether broken or discarded, medicine vials, ampules, should be discarded in the blue cardboard box. All right. Now, once they are discarded, they should be destroyed. They will be destroyed by micro, microwaving, autoclaving, and then sent for recycling. So, they should be destroyed after 48 hours. After 48 hours or before the next session begins. All right. So they will be destroyed by autoclaving, microwaving and then sent for recycling after 48 hours or before the next session begins. So at the end of every immunization session, all the open vials are sent to the cold chain point. There they are segregated into reusable and non-reusable. Reusable vials, if conditions are met, they can be used in the subsequent sessions for up to 28 days. And non-reusable vials will be discarded into the blue box and then they are destroyed. All right. Now we were discussing about reusable and non-reusable vaccine vials. 
Now, open vial policy applies only for DPT, TT, Hepatitis B, OPV, liquid pentavalent, PCV and injectable IPV. So, these vaccines, once opened, they can be reused for up to 28 days in the subsequent sessions, provided conditions are met. So, open vial policy applies for them. And for vaccines like measles or MR, BCG, JE, rotavirus vaccines, they should be discarded at the end of the session or within six hours of opening the vial. So open vial policy does not apply to these vaccines. Now there is an exception in case of AEFI, that is adverse event following immunization. So during AEFI, all the open vials, either usable or non-usable open vials, should not be discarded. All right. They should not be discarded or they should not be used. They should be maintained under proper cold chain until the investigation is completed. Now, what are the conditions for a reusable vaccine vial to be used in the subsequent sessions? First is check for the expiry date. All right. Look for the expiry date over the label of the vaccine vial. The vaccine should have not crossed the expiry date. Secondly, the vaccine should be stored under appropriate temperature from plus 2 to plus 8 degree Celsius. So, appropriate temperature conditions should be maintained and they should be transported properly in a zipper bag in the vaccine carrier. Okay. Next is vaccine vial septum should not be submerged in water. All right. So, properly maintained and conditioned ice packs should be used in the vaccine carrier and ensure that water is not accumulating in the vaccine carrier. If water is accumulating, the open vials may get submerged in the water and there are increased chances of contamination. And aseptic techniques should be used to withdraw the doses. Last point is VVM has not reached the discard point. That is, vaccine vial monitor should not have reached the discard point. So, we will see how to look for the discard point in a vaccine vial monitor. Now, let us discuss about VVM, that is, vaccine vial monitor. Now, this is an indicator label which is attached on the vaccine vial. All right. Now, it records the cumulative heat exposure. So, it helps us to discard those vaccine vials which have been heat damaged or exposed to high temperatures. If the color of the inner square is same as that of the outer circle or if it is still darker than that of the outer circle, then it should be discarded. Alright. Now, if the color of the inner square is lighter when compared to the outer circle, then it can be used. Now, this vaccine vial monitor also serves as a visual trigger for the open vial policy. All right. How does it serve as a visual trigger? Based on the position of the vaccine vial monitor. Now, if the vaccine vial monitor is attached on the label of the vial, all right. If it is attached on the label of the vial, then this can be used for 28 days in the subsequent sessions. All right. Suppose if the VVM is attached on the neck of the ampule or on the cap of the ampule, in these cases, the vaccine vial should be discarded at the end of the session or within six hours of opening the vial. Now, why is this difference? Because VVM will be attached on the label of the vial in case of liquid vaccines which can be reused in the subsequent sessions for up to 28 days if conditions apply. And VVM will be attached in the neck of the ampule or on the cap of the ampule in case of freeze-dried vaccines, which should be discarded at the end of the session or within 6 hours of opening the vial. So, we have been discussing in our previous slides regarding the segregation of reusable and non-reusable vaccines. So, all the reusable vaccines which we have discussed earlier are liquid vaccines which can be used for the next 28 days if conditions apply. Alright. So, they will be having the VVM attached on the label of the vaccine vial. And all the non-reusable vaccines which we have discussed earlier, 
will have their vaccin vial monitor attached on the neck or on the cap of the ampule and they should be discarded at the end of the session or within 6 hours of opening the vial all right now this is a checklist one must keep in mind in order to ensure vaccine safety as well as to reduce vaccine wastage first is looking for the expiry date on the label of the vaccine vial so the vaccine should not have crossed the expiry date Second is looking for the vaccine vial monitor so that the heat damaged vaccines will not be administered. Third is vaccine vial septum should not be submerged in water. So by using well conditioned ice packs and by ensuring that water is not accumulating in the vaccine carrier, the vial septum contamination can be prevented. Fourth is ensuring proper temperature maintenance in order to prevent the vaccines from heat damage and freeze damage. Now heat damage can be checked by vaccine vial monitor we have discussed earlier and freeze damage can be checked by shake test can be checked by shake test all right recording date and time of opening a vial now this is mandatory because a open reusable vial can be used for a maximum of 28 days all right so recording date and time is mandatory at the time of opening a vial. Now with that I think you must have got enough information about open vial policy. Now let's come back to the question. An ANM receives two open vaccine vials. One is MR, other one is pentavalent. Which of the two can be used for the next immunization round? So we have just studied about the reusable and non-reusable open vaccine vials all right so under reusable we have studied about dpt tt hepatitis b opv injectable ipv pcv and liquid pentavalent all right and under non reusable we have measles or mr and bcg je rotavirus so these vaccines should not be reused. Now let's look into the options. Option A, discard pentavalent and use MR. MR cannot be reused. So option A is incorrect. Option B, discard MR and use pentavalent. Yes, MR should be discarded and pentavalent can be used. So option B is correct. Option C, discard both. We need not discard both because pentavalent can be reused. So option C is incorrect. Option D, use both. We should not use both because MR cannot be Reuse. So option D is incorrect. So answer to this question is option B. Discard MR and use pentavalent. So with that I conclude the discussion for today. If you find these videos interesting and useful, please do consider hitting the like button and comment below for more such videos. Thank you.